there are times when you simply need to read and immerse yourself in the Word of God. And I'm talking about the times when a sermon won't do, a word of encouragement won't do it, but you simply need to hear from God Himself through His Word. And so today, I pray that as I read these scriptures, God's Spirit would begin to move in your heart, your mind and soul, and stir up your faith. I pray that these scriptures would find you wherever you may be, in whatever situation you're in, and they would remind you that the Lord still cares. The Lord still loves you, and His promises still stand true. 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 to 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. I want you to take away a few things from this passage. Our God is a God who has and shows compassion. He is a God who has given us the wonderful Holy Spirit to comfort us in all our trials and troubles. So what you face may be painful, yes, it may be unpleasant, but one thing remains true according to the Word of God, and that is the fact that we serve a compassionate and loving God, one who comforts us in all our troubles. Further scriptures worth meditating are on Romans 15, 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I like how the psalmist here says, even though. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, he might as well have said, it doesn't matter where I walk. Even though it looks bad, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Even though it seems like there's no hope, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Even though it appears to be over, I will fear no evil because you are with me. We need to be people who have this kind of faith. People that have even though kind of faith, because when all is said and done, Jesus Christ is with us. And if God be with us, who, who can be against us? Furthermore, Romans 8 verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are the called according to his purpose. You see, all of these scriptures, there are many more in the Bible, but all of these scriptures tell you in different ways that God cares for you. God cares about you. God is looking out for you. God is working things out in your favor. God will order your steps. And I pray that the Lord would open the ears of someone who needs to hear this, someone who perhaps has a heavy heart or a broken heart. To that person, I want to say, look to Jesus. Have faith in Jesus. Hold on to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and he will surely see you through. Now let us pray. Lord God Almighty, this world can be a dark place, but we look to you, Jesus, to be the bright lamp that guides our feet. I pray, O oh Lord, that every past hurt, every past mistake or past loss that weighs heavy on the heart of whoever is listening may be removed by your everlasting power. Philippians 4, verses 6 to 8. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. 
and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Our hope for tomorrow is anchored in you because you never fail. Our faith is in you because you are faithful even when we are faithless. We choose to come to you. We choose to set our minds on your word. We make the choice to trust you no matter the pain or the circumstance. We even choose to pray today despite all that we face. And in line with your word, we choose not to be anxious, not to worry. We choose to believe that you're always with us and in control. Our healing is anchored in you because by your stripes, we are healed. I pray for everyone listening right now and declare that broken hearts are mended today in the name of Jesus. Troubled minds are given peace. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to be so close to us that we can feel your presence in our hearts and in our homes. We cast all our burdens to you, Lord. We lean on you. Where else can we run to but to you? You have delivered and healed in the past, and you will do it again. In every season of our lives, may you lead us, God. Thank you that you reminded us throughout your word, we do not face the storms alone, but you are always with us, whispering calm, speaking peace, bringing rest to our soul. And God, we believe you just as your word says in the book of 2 Corinthians. We may be afflicted in every way, but we are not crushed. We may be perplexed, but we are not driven to despair. We may be persecuted, but we are not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. I thank you for caring for us. I thank you that the peace of your loving and strong presence guards and protects the hearts and minds of each person listening. Father, I thank you for listening to this prayer. Only the peace that comes from you will calm our hearts and sustain us through the troubles of life. I pray that you will help us to not let our hearts be troubled because that's not your will for us. Be blessed now and forevermore, Lord Jesus. Amen. Subscribe for more prayer videos.